Hey everyone. So I'm finishing up, well not finishing, I'm, I'm working on this uh, giant portrait of uh, Popcorn Sutton. If you don't know who Popcorn Sutton is, look him up. Uh, very interesting life. Um, but I, uh, I started this with my Iwata Custom Micron. And I am now, I've switched over after three, three days, two days, uh, to my Creos PS771 uh, working on, you know, I got to tell you, I keep making excuses of why <laughs> this airbrush is not as good as my custom Micron. And then I pull it out and I start working on it and I'm like, holy crap, it's, I think it is better. I, I get so much better response. Um, I can't find a reason why really it's not as good, if not better, than the custom Micron. So, um, the, the, I still love the Micron, and there are certain things that I know that it does better. Um, but I just like for everyday, regular stuff, this is, it's, it's, Perfect. I think the perfect setup is to use um, both of them. Uh, pull one of them out. The, the, I don't know, the, the Micron doesn't have as much air coming out as this does. And um, in fact, I think I've just recently figured out that the Mac valve on this leaks and I don't know how to fix it, but I gotta figure that out. But um, if you don't want as much paint to come out, uh, maybe the Micron is better. Uh, but this, the Creos, man, just, you get paint a little bit, you get a lot more, you get, uh, I'm finding out better detail, and I don't know, I can't really figure out a way to say it's not better. Um, and I, <laughs> I spent twice as much on the custom micron. So maybe that's why, that's why I don't want to say it. But um, I have to admit, this is uh, really, really good. I didn't like it when I first got it. I actually had a couple little problems that were, I think, manufacturer issues that uh, ended up being fixed. And since then, there's no, it's just perfect. Um, I'll forget about it and I'll put it away for a while and I'll use the Micron and I think, oh, this is good. I'm working well. And then I pull this out and I realize this, I believe, is so much better. So anyway, I, I'm going to paint a little bit here. Uh, if you want to watch, you're welcome to watch. I'm uh, working on this portrait. It's At this point, it's a uh, monochromatic portrait I'm painting with. Um, the custom micron using Createx illustration colors. I started off using golden. This is kind of a, the same situation. I love golden so much and they're great paint, but um, I could not get the golden to flow as fine as I wanted it to. And so I had to switch to the illustration colors and they're, they're working great, better than the golden. So, um, Lots of surprises on this portrait. Um, sometimes it's hard to paint and talk. So yeah, um, if you want to watch for a while, feel free. I'll try to talk about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I am working on a four by four wood panel that is primed or toned, I guess you could say, with uh, gray and I'm painting only black right now, and then I will come in with some white. I am thinking, I haven't decided for sure, but I'm thinking of putting some color just right along in here in the end. Um, I think it'll look very interesting. I don't particularly like, in fact, I don't like at all just copying photographs. How boring is that? The photograph is already made, and um, you're not doing anything just proving you could do it. And I don't really care about that. But my silent compressor, it's on.
not perfectly silent, but silent enough. Um, one thing I, I will say, I, I'm not a masker. I don't particularly care for masking. I've just recently started using um, freeform hand masks and, uh, okay. I prefer to do it. I see the world in uh, kind of blurriness. And so uh, I don't like sharp lines, uh, but it, I could see where it, it sometimes it does come in handy. So I will use them occasionally. But I was trying to get some really, really fine lines uh, last week when I was working on this. And and my uh, Micron just wasn't doing it. I couldn't tell if it was the paint or if it was the Micron or, or both. And um, today I decided, well, let's pull up the Creo, see what we could get out of. It's just working so well. It's... Um, Perfect response, uh, perfect fine lines. I have to say, one of the best things that I've I've purchased, and I, I will probably purchase another one, uh, to be able to have, you know, one set up with white or light color and one set up with a dark color. Uh, you can't beat it. This picture is a composite that I made. Um, Again, Popcorn Sutton, if you don't know who he is, he was a, uh, well, check out his story because it's definitely worth it, but he was uh, one of the last of the Appalachian um, still operators. What do you call those guys? <laughs> um, yeah, he was, uh, he was a moonshiner, basically. And the federal government had targeted him and was just, ready to throw him into prison and he committed suicide so um basically telling the government screw you i'm not going to your prison um which has sort of made him a little uh, cult hero uh, there are a lot of interviews with him on youtube look them up they're pretty funny uh, typical um appalachian badass dude so I'm doing a little, uh, just kind of want to do a little, well, actually a big tribute, four by four. And I kind of wanted to do it in black and white. This photo is not mine, so I didn't want to copy it exact. I mean, I'm taking some liberties in here. I also changed the way this particular photo was laid out. Uh, he was sitting on a porch and I wanted a still, so I, I kind of combined two different photographs and put um, a moonshine still over on this side, which I will paint. Uh, I'm trying to get this photograph or this portrait painted before uh, I'm in my studio and I, I run a gallery and I'm, we have a first Friday coming up and I would like to have it painted and finished by then, uh, whether I can, I don't know. Now here's a, now here's an example of, I guess you could see it, where I've masked, I masked the side of his shirt. Um, let me check and make sure that I'm getting this. Perfect. So this was done uh, with a mask and um, it's very handy. Uh, so you can see where the masks are definitely useful. I just don't like relying on them. I think they make the portraits look um, phony to me. I don't see the world in sharp edges. So whenever there's a sharp edge on a uh, realistic portrait, it just doesn't look realistic to me. I was having a little bit of trouble with the uh, pencil lines, but I have discovered that um, on this anyway, the pencil lines are coming off pretty easily. I did, um, right around the eyes especially, I did use a pencil just to kind of uh, have some sharper lines. I kind of want to stay away from that, but sometimes it, it comes in handy even around these hair. It's nice to, to add those features, uh, but yeah, the, the pencil lines, for the most part, erase pretty good on this um, this particular instance. I'm getting some smearing, but um, not worrying too much about it. So, um, yeah, that's, it's coming along pretty well. This is uh, one that I knew was going to take quite a while just because there's so much detail in it. But um, those are always worth doing, right? 
working at about 30, maybe 35 um, pounds per square inch pressure wise. And um, the micron with that has just barely air coming out, which is nice. That's not, I'm not saying it's not nice, but this has much more, and it uses the air better, I think. So if you haven't tried this, I mean, it's worth it. If you're, if you're thinking, what do I want? The micro, um, the micron, the creos, um, I might suggest that you go for the creos for a lot of reasons that, you know, I don't know. I haven't yet had to replace needles or other parts, so I don't know how difficult they are to get. Um, it, I have with the Micron and it was really easy just to call airbrush company and get replacement. So this, I don't know yet um, how difficult that would be. If it's something that's not very difficult, then it's a no brainer. You just, cause you could buy two and a half of these for the price of a Micron and you're going to get, you're going to get better response from this. <laughs> I don't know why I don't want to say it, but I got to get used to it because it's good. And um, I do recommend it. So there, I did. I did it. If you have any questions, feel free to um, send me an email or post them here. I try to get rid, uh, I try to read and respond to uh, as many as possible. I did last time. I, I don't have time to do a lot of videos. Um, I'm running a gallery, but I'm trying to do more. Um, I do post some of my art on um, Instagram. I, um, I did, I've been doing airbrushing for 40 years, holy crap. And um, I kind of got away from it. I, I got tired of it. Um, place to put this is another problem I have with um, <laughs> the mask I always need the um, concave um, and I can only find the convex so but this right here 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 is a good place because you you've got um, Strong lines needed. I'm anxious to see how the uh, this comes along with when I put white on because I I am expecting the uh, blue shift on this and um, I'll figure it out. I'll work with it. I think in this case it might be fine since the grays are blue. So it might actually look like it works. Uh, but like I was saying, if you have questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to get re um, respond to them or you can uh, contact me through Instagram if you want. Um, I am trying to do more airbrush stuff. I'll get back into it after being out of it for a while. I still, uh, I like doing other things other than airbrush. I don't rely on them and I, I'm very interested in um, how airbrush works with other art, like not just airbrush, but airbrush is a part of what I do. So using other materials with the airbrush is a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this uh, portrait with this airbrush I think it 
I might use the Micron, especially with white. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but just too good not to. All right, I will, uh, I'll probably show some more working on this later on, I think. And um, I definitely will show the final results. Um, again, if you want to follow me, Rick Baldwin Studio is um, where you can follow me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and um, feel free, like I said, to ask any question that you might have about airbrush, about the creels, whatever you want. And I'll try to get back to you. This is all I'm going to do today. You've seen this. It'll look awfully different next time that you see it. At least I hope it will. That's all for now. With my Creos. See you next time.